Catching rockets. What was once deemed impossible, now a reality as SpaceX achieves the extraordinary and sets new records. Elon Musk has unveiled key insights into the historic Flight 7 catch attempt, revealing its significance and the future potential it unlocks for the Starship program. Discover how SpaceX is shaping the future of spaceflight in today's episode of Great SpaceX. 95 days, or about three months, might seem like a reasonable amount of time in many fields, but in spaceflight, it's an incredibly short span to achieve monumental progress. Yet within this time frame, SpaceX has successfully caught its massive super heavy booster not once, but twice. This achievement highlights the company's relentless drive to innovate and improve, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in aerospace engineering. Catching the largest flying object ever built as it returns from space is no small feat. It involves navigating numerous complexities, each requiring meticulous precision. While SpaceX has made it appear almost routine, even Elon Musk himself has acknowledged the immense challenge, stating, it's harder than it looks. The method relies on the flawless execution from Starship during ascent, then navigate its descent with the assistance of grid fins and precise engine burns. Meanwhile, the communications system must endure the chaotic environment of launch and landing to ensure the synchronization needed for the catch. At the heart of the process, the Megazilla Tower's chopstick arms must execute a coordinated dance to align, close, and secure the booster. Musk has aptly likened this to catching a fly with chopsticks, emphasizing the precision required. One of the most astonishing aspects of this feat lies in the re-entry process. Super Heavy re-enters the atmosphere at speeds more than twice that of a bullet from an assault rifle. To put this into perspective, bullets are already known for their incredible velocity and destructive power, yet the booster surpasses the speed while being the largest flying object ever created. This combination of scale and velocity underscores the extraordinary engineering required to make such a return possible. The re-entry is not just about surviving these extreme conditions, but doing so in a way that allows for a controlled and precise descent. The achievements surrounding the Flight 7 mission don't end with the catch itself. SpaceX demonstrated an unprecedented turnaround speed in processing the booster after landing, further cementing its reputation for operational efficiency. Comparing the timelines of Flight 5 and 7 reveals the extent of this progress. During Flight 7, the booster was placed back on its launch mount just 2 hours and 14 minutes after landing. This process began approximately 30 minutes after the catch, a significant improvement over the more than 6-hour timeline observed during Flight 5. The reconnection to the quick disconnect system was completed in about two and a half hours, representing a dramatic reduction in time and highlighting SpaceX's commitment to optimizing every aspect of the recovery process. This improvement is not only a testament to SpaceX's engineering prowess, but also a reflection of its innovative approach to problem solving. The iterative design process, which allows the company to learn from each test and implement rapid improvements, has been a cornerstone of its success. For example, during Flight 5, there were issues with a small fire on the booster after landing. By Flight 7, these problems had been addressed, enabling a smoother recovery process and laying the groundwork for even faster turnaround times in the future. This adaptability is a hallmark of SpaceX's unique working style, which thrives on tackling challenges head-on and learning from them. The role of the Mechazilla Tower and its chopstick arms in this process cannot be overstated. This innovative landing and recovery system is central to the rapid turnaround times that SpaceX is achieving. By catching the booster directly at the launch site, SpaceX eliminates the need for complex transportation logistics, reducing time and effort. This efficiency is crucial for the company's long-term goal of increasing launch frequency, which is essential for fulfilling its ambitious vision of making space travel as routine as air travel. NASA has also recognized the significance of these advancements. Following the success of Flight 7, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson congratulated SpaceX and emphasized the importance of these tests in advancing space exploration. He highlighted the potential impact on the Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon and eventually establish a sustainable presence there. The ability to recover and reuse boosters not only reduces costs, but also accelerates the timeline for pre-mission preparations such as building refueling systems and conducting human landing system demonstration missions. These advancements bring humanity closer to achieving milestones on the Moon and ultimately Mars. SpaceX's aspirations for Starship extend far beyond supporting NASA's lunar ambitions. Musk has made it clear that the goal is to make Starship the most frequent and reliable launch vehicle ever created, surpassing even the remarkable achievements of the Falcon 9. 
Musk stated that Starship's operations will eventually become as routine as Falcon rocket landings. To date, the Falcon 9 has achieved over 400 successful booster landings, with some boosters being reused up to 25 times. The rocket's impressive turnaround time of just 13 days between launches has enabled SpaceX to execute an increasing number of missions, sometimes achieving two or three launches in a single day. This level of efficiency has set a new standard in the aerospace industry, and SpaceX is determined to replicate and surpass this success with Starship. Achieving such high-frequency launches with Starship would revolutionize the space industry, opening up unprecedented opportunities for scientific research, commercial applications, and interplanetary exploration. The ability to quickly recover and refurbish boosters is a critical step in this journey. Faster turnaround times not only reduce costs, but also enable a higher cadence of missions, allowing for the deployment of infrastructure needed for ambitious projects like establishing a Mars colony or deploying massive satellite constellations. SpaceX's rapid progress has also caught the attention of potential collaborators, including the U.S. government. The ability to recover and reuse boosters aligns with the objectives of the Space Force's rocket cargo program, which explores the potential for rockets to deliver equipment quickly anywhere on Earth. This capability could play a vital role in national security by ensuring the rapid replacement of critical satellites or other assets during conflicts. The implications of SpaceX's advancements extend far beyond commercial interests, influencing strategic planning at the highest levels. SpaceX's achievements stem from its commitment to pushing boundaries. By embracing risks and trading failures as opportunities to learn, the company has accomplished milestones once deemed impossible. This philosophy fuels innovation and inspires a new generation of engineers, scientists, and enthusiasts dedicated to making space more accessible. The rapid advancements seen between Flights 5 and 7, achieved in just 95 days, highlight SpaceX's unmatched pace of innovation. These missions have set records that are more than technical triumphs. They represent a shift in humanity's approach to space travel. With each mission, SpaceX moves closer to a future where spaceflight becomes routine rather than extraordinary. The journey is ongoing, but SpaceX's progress reminds us that even the boldest dreams can be achieved through determination, innovation, and an unwavering pursuit of excellence. After the success of Super Heavy, it's time to look ahead at SpaceX's exciting future. For this most recent flight, SpaceX aimed to catch Super Heavy and achieve a controlled vertical landing of the Starship into the ocean. Unfortunately, only half of that ambitious goal was met. Musk summarized the outcome in a tweet confirming that the booster flight was successful. Meanwhile, Starship accomplished about a quarter of its objectives, including successful testing of the forward flap, higher thrust engines, and tile adherence on ascent. In total, SpaceX achieved over 60% of the flight's goals, a significant step forward. Looking ahead, it's likely that Flight 8 will focus on completing these objectives, while Flight 9 might attempt the bold goal of catching the Starship. However, the FAA is expected to investigate the issues with Starship during the most recent flight. So when can we expect the next launch? Musk provided an answer in the same tweet, probably solved in next month's launch. This points to a February timeline for Flight 8, which seems feasible, given SpaceX's pace and the FAA's improved efficiency. Since the focus of Flight 8 is unlikely to deviate from the current mission plan, it's possible that no new license modifications will be needed. Meanwhile, hardware preparations for the next flight are already well underway. SpaceX will need to implement several upgrades to ensure the next mission's success. First, they must investigate and strengthen Starship's hardware, addressing the damage sustained during the previous flight. This will improve the vehicle's efficiency, especially during re-entry. The fuel leak, which caused issues with Starship's engines and pressure systems, will also need to be resolved. Additionally, SpaceX must upgrade the flap system, which burned during the last flight, to improve navigation and heat resistance. There are other critical systems that require attention as well. The satellite deployment mechanism needs thorough testing to ensure success in the upcoming flight. The heat shield system must be further reinforced to protect the spacecraft during re-entry, Flaps and engines will also need rigorous testing to ensure they can reliably support in-space operations as well as navigation and deceleration during landing. Super Heavy and the chopstick catching mechanism also require reinforcement. These systems must remain reliable to sustain the groundbreaking capability of catching and reusing the booster and eventually the Starship itself. If Flight 8 occurs in February as planned, Flight 9 could follow in March, potentially aiming to catch Starship. This milestone would be pivotal for achieving full reusability, a cornerstone of SpaceX's vision for cost-effective space exploration. The image of Starship held by the chopstick arms would symbolize a new era similar to Super Heavy's achievements. 
SpaceX's innovative landing method is reshaping the aerospace industry. While no other organization has attempted to catch rockets with mechanical arms, SpaceX thrives on ambitious goals and bold engineering. By pioneering large-scale reusability, the company is setting a new standard, drastically cutting costs and enabling more frequent missions for scientific exploration, satellite deployment, and human colonization. Each flight builds on SpaceX's experience, refining its technology with the aim of making reusability routine. This relentless innovation cements its leadership in aerospace advancements. Starship represents a paradigm shift, opening doors to ambitious scientific missions and interplanetary exploration. The journey ahead is challenging, but the rewards are immense. Super heavy success and Starship's evolution signal a new era in space exploration. The possibilities are limitless. Now we wait to see what SpaceX achieves next. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, keep looking up.